Hey guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 3 of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So last time, we ended up starting to, um, um, do a little bit of this, like, cooking to try to get some things for when, I don't know, if we need to you know, get some food, just different things like that. I mean, it's always nice to have, shoot, um, a little extra food around, just in case I get hungry, you know. Okay, different things like that. So yeah, Let's see if we can get this apple. No, no. That's being really annoying. Actually, maybe I should use the stick. There we go. Now it fell. Took a second. So let's roast some of this stuff I literally just got. Um, Cause it like doubles um, the amount of healing it gets. So that's awesome. Those two fall away. Must be. Hold, hold, hold. And boom. Yeah, I think apples don't take long to bake. I think depending on what it is, depends on how long it takes to cook and different things like that. Let's see, can I climb up this thing? Yep, I can. Um, let me eat one of these and just heal up a little. Because I'm definitely going to need is this all this food. At this point, it's looking like that. Aw, oh, shoot. Well, I got it. Temple of Time. A rusty broadsword. An old wooden shield. Press and hold ZL. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. So, it looks like there's an island. Maybe each one I get a new ability. Kind of like in um, Breath of the Wild, where you do each like shrine and you get a new ability for each one. So hopefully it's something like that. That'd be really cool. Hmm, I need four different powers or something. Get rid of each one. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Source of the right arm. It's <laughs> good to know. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Well, that's a great idea. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key.
Okay. I think I understand what to do. The closed door. Open adventure log. Closed door. Um, when you tried... Okay, yeah. It just was given a breakdown. Where is... The... There has to be a button for the map, isn't there? Um... So it's not that, it's this. Oh, there. I don't know what happened the first time. So I have those things activated, but I don't know. Don't I have the closed door activated? Oh. Okay, so find the shrines of light, basically. How do I do the... Wait, so run, jump, sh Wait, what's shield? What's shield? Oh. Okay, there. I did say I wanted a bow. So, I don't know. Maybe I can't be too disappointed with the result of this. Let me, yeah, I'll use this. Make sure I get it. Let's take this. Let's see, did I get a bow? Or did that thing just like fly back here? Where did the bow go? Oh, here it is. Old wooden bow. A bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Awesome. So where's the shrines? It's all the way up there. Is that a ton pike? Yeah. Do I just need to climb? Uh okay, yeah, let's see. How do I get going on this? Don't know, but maybe I just. Oh shoot! That was my bad. Yeah, give me that wooden stick. Anything I can do to get more weapons at this point. Mushroom, a mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Oh boy, the sun's moving. Yukara Shrine. Maybe it'll send me, like, down underground somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no, I'm going, like, in it. So we've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand.
<laughs> Ultra hand. Oh, there's five, six, wait, six abilities. Okay, Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. That's awesome. Mm. This is the Ultra mm. hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things, really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Activate. Well, let's see. <laughs> Let's just, uh, let's just, okay, let's just use it like this for now, um, until I figure, okay, so, so I have one, now let's set this down, B, and, Let's, let's let it fall down. Why won't it fall down? Hmm. There we go. Physics finally kicked in. And then, attach them to create. Oh, move forward and backwards. There it is. And B. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's a chest up there. Do I need to get that other one? Let me see. Might as well be collecting as much as I can. Amber, a fossilized resin with caramel-esque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Yeah, these just seem so open. These shrine things. Okay. Grab. So what do I need to do? So I have, oh, I see what I need to do. Figuring it out. So. Can you rotate it sideways? Oh, all. Oh. Wait, um, like this? Okay. Ah, uh, vertical. Let's do it like this. Oh, shoot! Don't do that. No, do ultra hand, then this, then. Okay, let's go. Attach. Uh, let's do. Oh, shoot. I guess. Actually, wait. Shoot. Let me. How do I unattach? Oh, there we go. Okay, and then here. And then you rotate it. Hmm. Then you sh attach it. So now you have. 
Okay. Actually, wait. Let me... Oh, I know what I should do. What if I... B. Let's do... Grab this. And rotate it. Shoot. Do this. And... This and rotate it. How do I? I don't get it. Just oh, there we go. And then so stick this here, and then um. Like, stick it like this, like, together. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do that right. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so... Just left me. Well, what do I do now? Wait a second, am I dumb? Um, okay, what's that up there? If I grab this, set it right here to where it won't move. Jump on it, maybe? Do I need that little extra height to grab it? How far does this go? to jump, 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 uh. I need to, how do I, how do I jump on it? quick enough. Am I missing something? Wait. 
didn't think if I could just jump. Do I just need to get to the top of this? What if I grab it and I rotate it? Um. Oh. this do um not exactly what I'm probably supposed to do uh let's see This is taking me forever just to figure out this one stupid thing. Don't know why though. What's like, am I just, oh. What if I would, <laughs> I'm up here. Let's do it a little bit more like that. Not so steep. Huh. Here we go. Let's see, do I, can I? But I can't like be on that thing. Get that extra thing though. Please give it. Um. Hmm. Can you climb this? No. Interesting, interesting. You can climb these. So what do I need to do? Can I like jump on it and it'll climb me? Start climbing? Okay. I can move it just slightly, maybe. Just slightly to where it... Jump on it. No, it doesn't stop climbing ever. What, do it like this? Kinda like, whoop. Um. Hmm. 
move it real close to me. And cancel. Jump on. Oh, dang it. It didn't stick that time. That's actually not a bad idea. Move it really close to me. So then... When it does go... Come on. Slink really not weigh that much. Okay. Okay, now... We get here, and B. Jump. Ah, oh, there we got it. That was more difficile. Way more difficult than it should have been. Uh, whatever. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Yeah, that was kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Took me a second on some of them. Well, that last one. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, that looks like a shrine. Let's see, what else are these shrines? Um, did you see there's only two? Do you see any shrines anywhere? Hello, shrines. Okay, there's one right there. Wait, let me see. So there's... Uh-huh. Green light. What's... Okay, so I guess there's only two. Okay, guys. This is going to be the end of this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one where I'm going to go and do another shrine. So, yeah. I'll see you then. Bye.